Hello friends, I'm Nayashik from blogdo.com and welcome to another amazing video. In this video, we'll see how to create a professional and super awesome website using the latest and greatest Elementor version 2.0. The website which you're going to create will be perfect for any kind of businesses and to create this website, you don't need to know any kind of coding languages or such. It's just simple drag and drop. So first, let's see the demo website which we have created and before that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Now as you can see on your screen, this is the website that we'll be creating in this video. At the top, we have this beautiful nav bar. As you can see, it is a transparent nav bar. We don't have any background color, it is transparent. At the left hand side, we have this logo and at the right hand side, we have our menu. After that, we have the heading and as you can see, this heading is using a very beautiful animation. That is the typing animation. And there are so many different animations that you can choose from. After that, we have the subheading. As you can see, the subtitle or the subheading. And after that, we have this beautiful call to action button. Now, as I said to you earlier that creating a website with Elementor is really easy. In fact, it was always very easy. But Elementor's latest version, which is 2.0, which we'll be using in this video, has made it more easier. Now, if you want to see a demo, let me show you. If you want to make any changes in this website, for example, if you want to change the title, or if you want to change the color of this uh, button, or if maybe if you want to change the background image, it's really easy. You just click on this button which says edit with Elementor here at the top. Now, once you do so, you'll see a screen uh, which looks something like this. Now, suppose you want to change this thing, okay, this text. So what you do, you just click on over here and you'll get uh, this pop up over here at the left hand side. Now, as you can see, the first thing is how to make a website. Now, if you want to make any changes over there, you can just type in your thing. For example, I'm typing Nair Shake over here. Now, as you can see, instead of that, now it says Nair Shake. And suppose if you want to change the image in the background, what do you do? You click over here. You go to style because that will come under styling. You have this image over here. You just delete this image, click on this plus button, upload any new file that you want and you just upload it. It is that simple. So let's see how to do that. Let's upload uh, maybe this image this time. Select this image, click on insert media. Now, as you can see, the image is totally changed and this is also looking very, very beautiful. So this is how easy it is to create a website using Elementor version 2.0. And the greatest thing about Elementor 2 is the blogs. Now that is the latest thing. Okay, for example, all this website, if you see everything is created using different blogs. Okay, you import the blog and you just design it. I'll show that in the video. Just stay tuned. You'll learn everything. So this is how I hope you got an idea about how easy it is to make any changes in this website. Now let's continue to the demo website and let's see how our demo website looks like. Okay, so we have already seen the top section. Now let's see what we have next. Now, as you can see the beautiful animation as we scroll down, this is our second section, the R services section. Okay, we have three different services over here. When we hover this section, as you can see, we get this background color, the border color, which is looking really nice. We have this button. And if you notice one thing, we are using two colors, for example, that pink color and greenish type of color. And we are setting that as primary and secondary color. And we'll be using these two colors through, throughout the website. Now that gives a very professional look to the website and it improves the design of the website. Also, if you see the logo, the icons which I have created, I'll show you how to create these different icons. It is really, really easy. Here also, I have used the same color, the pinkish color and this greenish color. So I'll show you how to do this as well. Now, when I hover this icon, as you can see, it uh, you know it increases in size, it glows, okay, or it grows. That is what the animation is called. Now we have many different animation for this as well, but we'll see those things later on, okay. Now let's move on to the next section. Now this is the next section, the stats section. We have some statistics like 85% support, 74% developing, 90% design. Obviously it is really easy. You can change the number, you can change the text over here. It's all up to you. Then after that, we have the feature section. At the left hand side, we have this beautiful image. And at the right hand side, we have some features and we are using these icons throughout the website. And again, if you see, we are using the primary color over here, which is some pinkish type of color. And here we have three different features, design, marketing and development system. Then we have the portfolio or the gallery section. Then after that, we have the get in touch section. Then we have the our client section. Okay. 
this is really nice you know if you see the get in touch section at the left hand side we have this beautiful contact form at the right hand side we have this map i'll show you how to integrate the map how to create this form and how to use it okay then after that we have the client section when you hover this you can see the beautiful animation we have this divider which is used throughout the website and the footer we again have a call to action okay we have some text over here for example if your website is related to something different you can change the text and you can change the link of this call to action button because the basic uh, uh, aim of creating a landing page or a home page is to get the leads okay to uh, to you know make the user or the customer click on that button and they can you know apply for the services of that we are providing they can purchase and buy our services now this was the home page i'll show you how to create more pages like about us services and contact us page now let's see how the about us page looks like okay so this is our about us page as you can see the top section is a very beautiful section we are using a very beautiful design over here now if you see the top section here we have the title the divider and some text and after that we have this curve over here and we have three different uh, things about us like our history our mission our vision and again if you see the animation when i hover this uh, section or this column you'll see a very thin shadow as you can see the difference now i'm not hovering over it but when i do so you'll see this beautiful shadow now that improves the design of the website again as i said you earlier we'll be using all these icons throughout the website all the icons and images because that really gives a very beautiful and very professional look to the website after that we have our story we, as you can see the title a small icon and something about your company then we have our members when i when i hover this any one of this image as you can see the image shifts towards the right yeah it, it gets overlaid by the black color and we have the name of the person and their designation in our company so we'll see how to do this as well then again if you notice one thing the bottom two section that is the our client section and the call to action section is same that we have seen in the home page now that is because you know what happens is we want these two sections because these two are very important sections the call to action section because as i said you earlier the main aim is to get more leads more customer we want the customer to click on that button contact us and you know take some services from us so that is what the main aim is so that's why you'll see these two sections in all the in all the pages okay now once you create this section in the home page you don't have to create these different sections again and again in different pages i'll show you a very simple technique how you can use one section throughout the website so we don't have to create this section again we can just save that section and use it over here okay so i hope you like the about us page now let's move on to the services page so this is our services page if you see if you notice one thing the design is very much similar because that is very important we have to maintain the consistency the design should be similar throughout the website okay only the content and different changes uh, different things should change now here also we have our title the divider subtitle and three different services okay for example print design web design you know and again we have three different uh, icons over here if you see and we have different colors then after that we have some uh, more services like brand strategy graphic design consultants web development and so on and as i said you earlier we have selected two color as the primary and secondary color and that is the color that we'll be using throughout the website and that is what we have done over here then after that as i said you earlier we have the client and the call to action section again over here we'll also see how to create a contact us page just like this again we have a very similar section over here but if you see over here the contact form is over here now this is looking really really amazing i'll show you how to do this how you can achieve this design and after that we have some contact informations like a phone number email address timing and some contact details you can put in your address over here and at the bottom we have the map okay now if you see at the footer at the bottom footer we have this copyright text i'll show you how to change that how to put in your own copyright text over there so this was a very short tour a very short tour of the demo website that we'll be creating in this video i hope you guys like the demo website and if you are if you really like it if you want to create this website if you want to learn how to create 
website using Elementor 2.2. If you want to create the exact same website, then stay tuned. Oh yeah, so to create any kind of website, whether it be an e-commerce website, a social networking website or a simple business website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. Now a domain name is a very simple thing. It's just the name of your website or the URL of your website. For example, google.com, youtube.com, all these things are different domain names and a hosting it's also a very simple thing. For example, if you see this section, we have this beautiful image. Then we have some text and some, you know, content over here. So all this content is saved in some computer, which is running 24 seven so that anyone who visits your website, they can see the website live. So your website is live 24 seven. So all this content, whatever is there on your website is saved somewhere in some computer, which is stored somewhere in the world and it is running 24 seven. So that is what a hosting is. Now to create a website, you need both the domain name and a hosting account. Now there are different, in fact, there are many, many uh, different hosting providers that you can go and purchase and most of them are good. But what I recommend is TMD hosting. That is the number one hosting company, which I recommend that is the fastest, most reliable. It uses an SSD, which is really, really awesome because it improves the performance of your website and it is really nice to use to have an SSD space. It also provides a free domain name. So we don't have to purchase a domain name and you also get a free SSL certificate. Now, as you can see over here, it says secure over here. Now that is what a uh, SSL certificate is. If you don't have this, your website browser, your Chrome browser will say that this website is not secure, which is not a good thing. We don't want the user to come to our website and see that this is not secure. Also SSL certificates have are very useful for SEO purposes. Google ranks high, Google rank high the website which are using SSL certificates. So that is also a very good thing. And as I said, you, it will improve the performance. It will improve the page speed of your website. So that is the hosting, which I recommend. Now, if you can, you can have another option, which is HostGator. So it's all up to you. HostGator is also good, but I recommend TMD more than anything else. So if you want to use TMD, just open a new tab and type in blog slash TMD and press enter. Now, once you do so, you will be redirected to this page. Now, as you can see here, it says shared hosting. There's some uh, discount going on on shared hosting. Now we don't want this shared hosting because shared hosting is the just the regular hosting, which is very slow. And I don't recommend that. I am recommending cloud hosting. And that is what I use personally on my websites and on my clients websites. So if you want to use cloud hosting, you'll see a button over here, which says get into the cloud. Now click on that button. Now here, as you can see, we have three different uh, packages, the starter cloud, business cloud and enterprise cloud. Now let's see what are the different features that we get in TMD and why I recommend TMD over other hosting companies. So let's see what we get over here. Now the first feature, if you see over here is six core CPU and six GB of DDR4 RAM. So as I just said you that a uh, hosting is nothing but a computer which is running 24 seven. It has all your files stored in that computer. So the computer that is storing our website, our data is a very nice and very fast computer. As you can see, it is got a six core CPU, which is a really nice and it also has six GB of DDR4 RAM. So the hosting is a really high quality and fast hosting. Next feature is unlimited bandwidth. Now unlimited bandwidth is also a very important feature because it is the amount of data that you can transfer on your website. So if you, you can uh, upload and you can also download unlimited amount of data from your website. So that is also a very important feature. Then after that, we have unlimited SSD space. Now this is the most important feature. SSD space or SSD is way more faster than the regular HDD. You guys might be aware of that. If you know uh, even basic things about computer, you must know that SSD is way more faster than the HDD. If you don't know, you can just go to Google and type in SSD versus HDD web hosting. You will see the results. There are many different articles over here. You can read them all and you get, will get a very strong, very concrete idea about the difference. If you don't know, you can just click on this images link and open any one of these. So I'm opening the first link, the first image. And here you can see the difference between the regular HDD and the SSD that we'll be using. 
the speed of SSD is way more better than the regular and boring HDD. In fact, sometimes it is even 30 to 40 times higher. Okay, so the speed of our website will be way more higher than the other websites in the company or in the market, which is very good because it will give us a strong, you know, reputation and it will increase our SEO score. And that, you know, in when your SEO score increases, your website has a very high chance of ranking higher on Google search. So that is really amazing. After that, we have IOPS and at the bottom it says higher is better. And you can see the difference over here. The difference is just huge. Then after that, we have latency. Now here it says lower is better. And again, if you see over here, this is really, you know, very low and HDD is very high. And here the lower one is better. Now you, you know that SSD is really, really amazing. It is way more better than, than the boring and regular HDD. Now, not only that we have SSD space, we have unlimited SSD space. Now there are few companies that do provide SSD space, but they don't provide unlimited SSD space. They'll provide you something like one GB, five GB, something like that. But here we have unlimited SSD space, which is another amazing feature. After that, we have unlimited websites hosted. This is also very important. For example, today you're creating this website. Tomorrow you might need to create another website. Now, you know, tomorrow if when you create another website, you don't have to purchase a new hosting account again. Here you can host unlimited websites. So whether you want to create one website, 10 websites, 100 different websites, you can host all of them in one single hosting package. You don't have to purchase another hosting package for any one of your future website. This is very, very important. And as I said you earlier, we'll also get a free domain, premium support, free cPanel, and now NGIX, web server, wildcard SSL. Now this is also an insane feature. Now I have uh, said you earlier, I have shown you earlier that this is the SSL certificate is very, very important today to get or to have SSL certificate on your website. Now if you go in the market, if you go to some hosting provider to purchase a SSL certificate, the SSL certificate itself will you know cost you around 40 to 100 dollars. Now here you're, you're getting wildcard SSL certificate, which means you can use SSL certificate on unlimited number of websites and domains and subdomains. So indirectly you're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars over here. We also get optimum cache, which will improve the performance of our website. We have memory cache instance of 256 MB. Performance is three times better than these two plans. And you also get a 60 day money back guarantee. Now all these packages, in fact, the business cloud and the enterprise cloud is good, but I don't recommend the starter cloud. The reason is very simple. Here, as you can see here, it says one website hosted. So here you can host only one website. So tomorrow, if you want to create another website, you will again have to purchase an SSL. Uh, you will again have to purchase the hosting account. So that is not recommended. You can go with business cloud or enterprise cloud. I recommend enterprise cloud and I am personally using enterprise cloud. So I'll go with this, this one. So here you have this get started button. Click on that. Okay. Once you do so, you will be redirected to this page here. You have to enter the domain name which you want for free. So let's type in some domain name over here. I'm typing in Naya Sheikh one. And from here you can select the uh, extension. For example, by default, the .com extension is selected. But if you want, you can choose or you can select some other extensions as well. For example, if you're creating this web website for some organization, you can select .org. If you're creating this website for very specific purpose or for very specific country, like if you're creating this website only for India, then you can select .in. If you're creating this website only for UK, you can select .uk. But for most of you guys, I would recommend to go with .com. That is the most common and most famous one. So type in your website name, select the extension and click on proceed. Okay, now here you have to enter some basic information about yourself, some contact information like your first name, last name, your email address, phone number and so on. And after that, you have to select the payment method. If you want to make payment through your credit card, debit card, your ATM card, you can select this thing. You can select the type of card you're using Visa, MasterCard. And for most of you guys who are watching from India, if uh, most of the Indians have the Rupee card. Now, Rupee card is not accepted over here. In fact, Rupee card is not accepted anywhere in the world. It's just, you know, used in India. So if you're using Rupee card, this card, that card will not be accepted over here. You better get a Visa card or a MasterCard. 
Okay, so make sure you have uh, one of them. You can also make payment through PayPal if you want. Uh, then we have some important information like your purchase information. Here you have to select the data center location. Now you have to select the one which says nearest to you. For example, here if you see for me, Singapore says nearest to me or nearest to you. So I'll select that one. And in the period by default, the 12 month is selected. So I'm selecting the 12 month. Never select the one month period because if you select that, you'll have to pay around $7 extra per month. So by the end of the year, you're paying around $80, $90 extra. So that is not a good idea. Make sure you go with at least 12 months. You can increase that if you want. You can go with 24 or 36 months. But I would recommend you to go with 12 months. That is more better. Now this thing is already ticked in, which is domain privacy. Now, if you select this thing, if you tick mark this thing, it is very good because it will protect your information, like your contact number, your name, last name from getting leaked. So no one can see who has registered this website, who is the registrar of the website. So that is a good thing. But if you if you are OK with anyone seeing who is the what is the name and the last name of the person who has registered this website, then you can just untick this thing. Then after that, we have a very, very important thing, which is promo code. Now here you have to enter Nayar 7, N-A-Y-Y-A-R and numeric 7. Now this coupon code is also given in the video description below. You can check that out. Now once you enter that coupon code, click on this apply button. Now as you can see, it says this promo code gives you 7% of this purchase. And 7% is the highest discount that TMD offers on cloud hosting. So indirectly, you are getting the highest discount possible, which is really nice. Now, once you do all the things that I have, uh, I have shown you, just tick mark over here. I agree to TMD hosting terms of service and click on checkout. Now, once you click on that checkout button, you will receive a mail from TMD. Now, this is a very, very important mail because it has some really important and crucial information like your username, password, your server IP, name servers and all these things. So make sure you save this information somewhere. If you have multiple email addresses, forward these to those different email addresses. Just make sure you have all this information secured. OK, now at the bottom, you'll see a link which says control panel link and control panel link is nothing but your domain name slash cPanel. OK, so whenever you want to visit your control panel, just type in your domain name forward slash cPanel. OK, so open this control panel link in a new tab and put in your username and password that you got on that email address and you click on login. OK, guys, so this is our cPanel. Now it's time to install WordPress on our website. We, we now have the domain name. Now it's time to install the WordPress on our website. So go at the bottom under this section, which says Softaculous app installer. And the first option over here is WordPress. Click on WordPress. Now click on this install now button and from here from the choose domain choosing the domain that you want to install. Now you will see only one domain over here if you're doing this thing, if you're creating a website for the first time. But because I have used TMD hostings to create unlimited, uh, maybe hundreds of websites, then that's why I'm I was getting so many different domains. But you should see only one. And in the choose protocol, make sure to select this one, the one which says HTTPS the one with the extension s okay select that one then here we have the indirectory make sure wp is uh, now deleted from here this thing this box should be empty then you have the site name and site description here you have to put in the name of your website and some description or tagline of, of your website then after that, we have a very, very important thing, which is username and password. Now we have to choose or you have to change the username and password. It is very important. So let me see. Let me put in my username and password. Let me hide this thing. And then we have the admin email address. Change this email address and put in your own email address over here. Now come at the bottom and click on this install button. Now, as you can see, WordPress is getting installed on your domain name on your website. It will take few seconds. Don't worry. Now, as I said you earlier, it took few seconds. Now we have two different links. The first one is your website link and the second one is your dashboard or the administrative URL link. So open the second link in a new tab. Now we can get rid of these tabs. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the dashboard of your website. This is the WordPress dashboard. 
this is the place from where you will create pages you will delete pages you will do everything related to your website okay at first if you're creating the website for the first time with wordpress if you're seeing this dashboard for the uh, first time don't worry it is really really easy i'll explain you everything don't we will see how to create a website step by step we are not going to uh, miss or skip any single step so just don't worry i'll explain you everything okay first let's see how a website is looking at present so if you want to see that here at the top left corner you'll see your website name when you hover that you will see this visit site link open this link in a new tab okay guys so as you can see this is how our website is looking at present really really boring i don't like the design we have to create a website similar to this one okay a website beautiful like this one so let's see how to do that first to change uh, the design we need a different theme we won't be using this theme now a theme is nothing but the design okay if you want to change the design and functions of your website you change this uh, you change the theme for example if you want to change this design this is the default design you know you have this uh, image big image over here then we have this very simple looking website now I don't like the design so I want to change the design so for this we need a different theme so we'll be using a free theme in this video we won't be using any premium theme we will be using a free theme a very good theme so to install that theme first come back to your dashboard and whenever you want to come back to your dashboard you can just type in your website name forward slash wp hyphen admin this link will get you or uh, to your you know dashboard to this page now from here at the left hand side you'll see there are many different options different menu so the first option that we have to click is on that option which says appearances so click on appearances now here as you can see we have three different themes already installed the 2017 15 and 16 theme now these are def uh, default wordpress themes which are really bad no one uses this so what we'll do we'll just delete it we'll select this one and delete it because we don't require it it is just you know consuming a lot of space now it's time to install the theme so click on this add new button now in the search theme search for ocean wp okay just type in ocean wp o c e a n wp obviously this is the spelling and by the way this theme is also a very good theme for e-commerce website so if you want to make an e-commerce website and if you don't have the budget uh, in the beginning to purchase a premium website or premium theme you can use this theme this is also a very decent theme for e-commerce websites now by the way if you want to learn how to create any e-commerce website you will see many different links in the video description below you can click on them and you will learn everything step by step how to create an e-commerce website first obviously watch this video and complete this website now we have to install this theme so you'll see this button over here which says install click on that button so the theme is getting installed on our website okay now once the theme is installed we have to activate the theme okay so click on this activate button okay guys now once you do so here it will recommend you few plugins uh, the first one is elementor and the second one is ocean extra now the reason i chose ocean wp is very simple because elementor recommends ocean wp theme which is a very decent very nice and clean theme so first what we have to do we have to install these two uh, plugins from here so just click on this link which says install uh, plugins click on this link now tick mark over here it will select all the things from here and from the bulk action select install click on apply okay so both our plugins are installed now click on this link return to the dashboard fine so both our plugins are successfully installed and activated so if you want to see that from the left hand side you'll see this option which says plugins click on that now you have the elementor and the ocean extra but we have two more plugins over here which is akismet and hello dolly we don't need these so you can tick mark both of them akismet and hello dolly and from the bulk action select delete and click on apply okay so that plugins are gone which we don't require now again come back to your website let's refresh and see the changes okay now this as you can see now the design is totally changed now if you see this is also looking very boring it is not even close to something like this now that is because it's time to create or to design the website okay now you have the elementor over here but i would highly recommend you to go with the elementor pro 
okay so we have the free version which is elementor 2.0 but i will also recommend you to install the premium version as well now i'll do both you can just you're fine with the elementor uh, simple version the free version is also fine but the pro version is very cheap and you know in terms of price it is very low priced and the features that you get is really amazing so you can use both the free version but i would recommend you to use both the free and the pro premium plugin so if you want the premium plugin, open a new tab and type in blogtocom slash Elementor. Now this link is also given in the video description below. You can just click on that link and you will be redirected to this page. Now you'll see all the premium uh, uh, module that you get with this one because in the free Elementor plugin, you get a very limited module. But here you have, mm, you know, very premium modules like animated headline. For example, this animated headline, you will get this only uh, in the premium version of Elementor, not in the free version. You get a simple headline in the free version, but not the animated headline. Okay. And many different modules like form. If you want to create a form, you can create using the pro version you can create price tables using the uh, pro version and there are many 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 different uh, uh, elements over here okay so what we have to do we have to go at the bottom and you will see the price section over here let me see here it is we have three different packages the first one is a very nice nicely priced i would say only 49 dollars for one website so if you're planning to use Elementor Pro only on one website, then you can, you are totally fine with the personal plan with this plan. But if you're a freelancer like me, if you're a person who creates website for different clients, then this is the perfect package for you. 199 unlimited. So here you can use Elementor Pro on unlimited number of websites. So you can use the, the pro version on all your clients website or uh, you know all your friends website everything you can use them on unlimited number of website so okay so for people who are creating a website only for their business they are, they are not going to create any website in the future then they can create select the personal one or if you want to create website or and if you want to use elementor pro on unlimited number of website on all the website that you're going to create then you can select this version okay now i won't be purchasing this because i have already done that i already have purchased the premium plugin so once you purchase the premium plugin it's time to download the plugin so let me show you how you can download and activate it first click on this link which says account and you'll see this thing over here okay you have the license key over here and it's as you can see active install is one okay one website but here you will see zero if you're seeing this for the first time and what you have to do you have to click on this button which says view websites okay before that first we have to install the theme so again come back click on this button which says download plugin so it will download the premium plugin for you okay now as you can see the premium plugin is getting downloaded so it is successfully downloaded once you download the theme or uh, once you download the plugin, you can click on this link which says visit websites. And here you have to enter the website on which you want to activate the plugin. So I have already entered and activated it. Just enter the website and it will be activated. Now copy the license key from here. Just copy it from here. Come back to your website. In fact, come back to your website dashboard. First, let's install the premium plugin. So click on this add new plugin button. Now click on upload plugin, choose file and choose that file. So this is the uh, premium plugin file. Uh, select this, click on open, click on install now. Now click on activate plugin. Okay guys, so as you can see, the plugin is installed and activated, but before that we'll have to activate the license. So click on this activate license button and enter your license key over here. Click on activate. Okay, now as you can see, the status is active. So your plugin is now active on your website. Now we can use Elementor Pro on our website, which is really amazing. So let's see how to do, how to let, how to get started. First thing that we have to do, we have to create a page. Okay, because as you can see, this is a simple page, our home page. So let's first create the home page and start creating this website. Okay, so come back to this dashboard and from the left hand side, how our pages and click on add new. Now it's time to give a title to this page. So because it is our home page, let's name it home page. Okay, and click on publish. Now we can just uh, view this page in a new tab. So let's open this link in a new tab. 
okay so this is how your page is looking but we want a very simple page why because here if you see we have a nav bar and it is white color we don't want a white color nav bar we want a transparent nav bar also we we don't want this sidebar and we also don't want the page title and breadcrumbs now the reason i made you choose the ocean wp free plugin is because of all these things because in this theme the ocean wp theme the although this this theme is a free theme but you get many premium options like you can change all these things from here from your page so come back to your page you know, on this page the home page and scroll down now here at the bottom you'll see ocean wp settings the first one is the main setting the content layout so from the content layout you have different options select the full width option okay and we don't want the margins so just disable margins okay so the content layout will be full width and margins will be disabled now also as i said you we want transparent menu and we don't want the heading and we also don't want the breadcrumb so let's see the next option is header so click on header we don't want to display any top bar as you can see and if you i don't know if you could see but there is a very thin line over here and after that above that there is uh, that section is called top bar we don't want that so we'll just disable the top bar and the header style will select transparent now after that we have the title we don't want the title so we'll just we'll just disable it and we also don't want the brand breadcrumb so we'll select breadcrumb and click on disable this is what breadcrumb is okay as you can see this is the bread breadcrumb so once you do all these settings click on the update button come back to your website and let's refresh it now as you can see everything is gone now everything you're seeing a blank page now at first it is looking terrible but don't worry we'll make it exactly like this website okay so let's start doing that so to do so we'll be using elementor as you know so click on this button which says edit with elementor okay guys so as i said you earlier we'll be using blocks to create our website now the reason is very simple that will save a lot of time and it is the blocks which are created are created by really expert people so why it is, is it important for to be created by expert people because they know what should be the size of your uh, font or, or the size of the margin for example what should be the margin top or what, what should be the padding how much gap there should be there on your website and all those things are decided by expert people so they have created blocks so we don't have to do anything we just have to install all the blocks one by one according to the demo website and after we are done with the home page blocks we'll start designing them so let's see how to do that i know it might sound a little bit confusing but let me show you it is really really easy so to install or to add a blog just click on this button which says add template now from here you'll see this blocks click on that now if you see over here there are few blog uh, blocks which are free but there are few which are uh, only available for the premium version or the pro version for example if you see this one this is free but if you see this one here it says pro so this is available only for elementor pro so if you're using the free version you can select only the one which is available for free but if you're using the pro version you can use any one of this okay so the first section is this section and here we have the hero image the background image we have a full width background image so this section is called hero section okay so from the category we'll select hero let's search over here here it is hero and the section the design that we have selected let's see that design now as you can see this is the design that i have selected okay now i know it is looking totally different okay but this is the one which i have selected so how over here and you'll see this insert button click on that okay guys so this is how it is now i know it is looking different if you see my website we have a beautiful image in the background but the main structure is same uh, for example if you see we have this animated headline we have the sub headline and we have the button and we have a background image now here also we have animated headline sub headline call to action button and a background image okay so first we will create only the structure and after that we'll see how to you know design it so first if you see one thing if you want to see how this uh, how this will look in a on a live website then what you can do you can uh, click on this button 
now this is how it will look on your website now this is not looking good because uh, the image stops over here we have some margin from both the side we don't want any margin we want full width as you can see on our demo website we have this image as full width so let's do that now again come back over here and at the top if you see when you hover this at the top we have this blue things different uh, icons over here click on it you'll see different options now now we don't have to do much now first we'll just make it full width so here you have this stretch section location just make it yes now if you see this is full width this section is stretched okay so this is what this is our first block now after that we have this our services block so let's uh, grab this one again click on add template now instead of hero select services and you have again many different designs for services now the one which we have used uh, is this one image services because if you see we have the image over here and we have the same design like this one so select this hover this and click on insert okay so as you can see we have the second one as well and it is looking very much similar but the design is totally different we'll see how to design that later on first we'll add all the different sections and at the end we'll design it let's make this uh, full width as well so again hover this click on this blue section edit section stretch section fine and after that we have this stat section okay stat block so again scroll down click on add template now instead of services select stats and the one which we have used is this one as you can see alternate numbers and all these things so this is the one which we have used so hover this and click on insert okay we have very similar one now let's make this full width as well after that we have this feature section so let's grab that click on add template instead of stats let's select features so here it is select this one now again we have different styles very beautiful styles for features but the one which i have used is this one the last one so how about this click on insert okay so this is how it is looking now let's make this full width as well okay now it is looking it is not looking good at present i know it is just some black and white website and this would look really terrible but i'll show you how you can you know improve the design how we'll see that thing don't worry okay after this we have this section the portfolio section let's see how to do that again click on add template instead of features let's select portfolio and uh, let's select this one okay this uh, two rows six uh, six images over here select this one click on insert okay again let's uh, click on over here edit section let's stretch section now still it is not looking uh, like this here we don't have any gap and everything is full width but we here we have a lot of gap and it is not full width but we'll see how to do these things okay don't worry after that we have this section which is the map section so again scroll down click on add template and let's select the contact section here it is contact now here at the left hand side we have this simple form contact us form at the right hand side we have this beautiful map so let's select that one here we have at the first one is the one which we are using and this is a pro element so it is available only if you're using elementor pro so select this one click on insert okay we at the left hand side we have this uh, section at the right hand side we have this section let's make it full width and after that we have the our client section so again scroll down click on add template select clients from here and the one which i have used i guess is this one okay select this one click on insert okay yeah this is the one and like always let's make it full width now the last section or the last block is this block call to action block so again come back over here click on add template and select call to action now here again we have many different options over here but the one which i have used is this one very simple one select this click on insert okay we have this one let's make it full width select this and make it full width okay guys so you can see within few minutes within two three minutes we have this structure ready for our website okay now this is really crazy if you know if you have, i don't know if you're using wordpress for a long time you know that this thing was impossible before you know two three years ago i don't know, maybe four years ago but now 
creating a website has become so simple and as i said you earlier these designs are created by professionals so as i said you earlier if you have a very nice amount of gap okay now when a new person who doesn't know about web designing creates a website it, it becomes very difficult for him to decide the size of the icon the amount of cap and padding and so on but because as i said you earlier this is created by experts you can see the amount of gap and everything is just perfect okay everything is just perfect over here we just have to design it according to our needs so i'll show you how to do that first let's update the page so click on this uh, button which says update and if you want to see how this will look you know, on, a, on your website, you have this eye icon over here. Preview changes, click on that button. A new link will open. Okay, so this is how your website is looking at present. This is your page. Now let's start designing the website. Okay, so to do so, again, come back to this page. Now let's start designing the first section. Okay, so first let's change the background image. So to do so, as you can see, this is the background image to the complete section. So we'll select this option at the top, which says edit section, click on that. And we have all the options over here. Okay. We have the content with at present is boxed. And I would recommend you to make this and to keep this as boxed. Now don't mess up with any one of the layout setting. Just make or leave this as it is. Just go to the design section. Okay. Now, if you see the background color is given black, we don't want that. Just select this and click on clear. It will clear this color. And if you see this uh, image, this is the image which is used over here. But we want a beautiful image like this, which is used on our demo website. Now, this image or whatever image I have used in my website, in the demo website, I am giving these things for free. You will see a link in the in the video description below open that link and you can download all the images for free okay so let's change this image let's delete it and click on this plus button to add a new one click on select files and uh, this is uh, the file all the files which which will be requiring in this video so all these images which you see over here are given to you for free so you'll see a link in the video description below click on that link and you can download everything which you see over here for free now, so this is the image that we have used in the demo website. So select this one, click on open. Okay, so we have this image over here. Select that, click on insert media. Now, as you can see, we have the image in the background. But if you notice one thing, this image is looking really dark. But here we, the image looks really fine. It is not looking dark. Now, that is because we have something which, see, which is overlay used over here. But before we go that, let's see some other settings. Now the position, make sure it is center center. Attachment, make sure it is default, which is fine. Repeat also it is default. Size, cover, which is everything is fine. Now here we have background overlay. And here if you see the black color is selected. Now you can select different color as well. For example, you can select blue. Now you can see blue overlay. And you can also change the transparency. As you can see here, we have two, two bars over here. This is the first one. This is the second one. The second one is for transparency. If I decrease that, you can see the transparency decreases. And you can change the color over here. As you can see the changes on your screen when I change the color. But in this, uh, in the demo website, we have uh, we have not used the overlay. So you can just click on this clear button and it will clear all the overlay. Now, as you can see, this is looking really amazing. Okay, now after that, we have every rest, everything is fine. We are not using any border or shape divider at present. We will be using all these things, all these options later on. So don't worry, we will not uh, leave anything uh, un untouched. Okay, we'll see everything. We'll use all the options, the shape divider, the border, the typography, everything. But here in this section, we don't require all these things. So we can just leave it. Okay, now let's change this thing. Okay, the the heading, uh, we want to change the design, the animation, we, and we also want to change the text. So to do any changes, just click on that heading. Okay. When you click on that heading at the left hand side, you will see all the settings related to that heading. Now, the first thing that we have to do, we have to change the text here. The text is, as you can see, design, fashion, realism, modern. And here our text is how to make a website uh, with WordPress using Elementor 2, whatever you want to make your text or whatever you want to put over there. Okay. 
So what you can do, you can select everything and delete it. Now let's put in our own text, how to make a website. Okay, this is my first text. And if you want to add another text, just press enter it and go to next line and enter the next text. And let's may enter using WordPress. Okay, so we have two things. And again, uh, to enter the next one, press enter and let's uh, type in with Elemental version 2.0. Okay, so we have three different text over here. Obviously, you can increase or decrease this number. It's all up to you. Also, if you notice one thing, the design or the animation is very boring and here the animation is very nice. It is the typing animation which is used in the demo website. So let's change this thing. Come back over here. At the top, you have this style and by default rotating is selected and the rotating one should be selected. Okay, the next option is animation. Select that and let's select the first one which is typing. Now, as you can see, the typing animation is selected and you can see the typing animation is going on. You have some more option like blinds. If you select blind, this is the animation which you see, which you see on your screen. This is also looking very nice. You have some more like wave. Now, this is the animation for wave which you see on your screen. Wow, this is also nice. We have many beautiful animations over here, but the one which I want to use is typing. So select typing. Rest everything is fine. Now go to style because if you see over here, the text is different. The style, the font style is totally different. Okay. And here it is very boring, very simple font style. So let's change that. So here we have the heading option to change the style. You have the typography option over here. Click on this pencil button. The font family, which we have used in our demo website is Atma ATMA. Type ATMA and you'll see this option over here. Select Atma from here. Now all the fonts should be changed, but I don't see that happening. Let's try again. Okay, let's click on this thing again. Select this. Let's change. Okay, the okay, the size is getting changed, but let's select some different font. Let's select maybe blue yeah the font is changing so let's try again okay let's click on this pencil button uh, select this and type in atma atma select that okay i don't know why freaking now also if you notice the font uh this font style which we have used in the demo website is totally different than this one so let's change that to change this thing just click on this pencil button and from here, select any font that you like. Okay, there are hundreds of different fonts over here. You can select any one of these and it will be applied. As you can see, when I change the font, you will see the font changes over here. Now, the one which we have used is called Atma. So search for Atma, select that one. Okay, I see that no changes are taking place. So what you can do is we can again click on this pencil button and we can change the primary font instead of that. Okay, in fact, that is more recommended because if we use this typography method, we'll have to change the font style again and again. But we, if you use the uh, primary font method, all the fonts which you see will be changed uh, at once. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So what you can do, you can click on over here, this hamburger icon, which you see my cursor, click on that icon. Now we have default, default colors, default fonts. So select the default fonts, select the primary header. And instead of Roboto, select Atma, search for ATMA Atma. And now as you can see, the font has changed. Now the font has not only changed from here. If you see all the fonts, like as you see services, you see alternate number, all the fonts that we are used, that we are using on our website, all the fonts are changed. So this saves a lot of time. Okay. So we are done with this thing. Click on apply. Okay. Now the font is changed. Now it's time to change the color and the design of this button. As you can see, the design of this button is very boring, but the design of this one is really nice. So what you can do to change the design of the button, simply click on that button. Now, the first thing that we have to change is the text here. It says read more, but in the demo website, it says learn more. So let's put learn more instead of read more. Fine. So now it says learn more. Now go to style to change the design. 
and first thing is typography select this one you can change any typography from here for example here for this also you can put atma now as you can see when i put atma the style of the button changes but for this one i don't recommend atma what you can do you can select either fonts like roboto or poppins poppins is a very nice form uh, font which i use so i am selecting poppins p o p p, -P i n s so select that and this is how it will look now here if you see everything is uppercase which is capital letters so if you want to make this thing as uppercase as well what you can do you can select the trans uh, transform option and select uppercase now as you can see everything is uppercase now the weight is 600 so what i want i want to decrease that to 400 now this looks much better the font is looking much better and let's increase some spacing between the letter as you can see it is really hard to read that but when we as you can see when i increase the space between the letter this is how it will look so let's make it uh, something like this 1.5 is looking much better okay so you can change uh, more things like this style decoration and everything but this is it for now you can just uh, deselect this one now the text color is white which is fine but the background color over here is you know colorless we have a transparent background color but here we have this beautiful background color so let's see how what this color is now let me show you a very uh, simple and a very useful technique if you want to know what this color is what you can do you can hover this button right click over here select inspect now once you do so at the left hand side you will see this section and here we have the color it is 10c5a7 so copy this color code and you can just cut this thing now come back over here and here we have the background color option select that and paste in this color code now as you can see this is looking exactly like that one okay now but when i hover this the background color remains same and the text color becomes gray, green which is looking very very bad but here when i hover this the background color becomes pink and the text color remains white okay so let's see what this pink color is again do the same technique hover that right click and select to inspect element now you have this background color over here it is ff7a7a select that come back over here now if you want to change the hover style what you can do is now at present it is on normal and here we have hover option click on that now we have the text option so on hover we want the text color to remain white and the uh, the border color we, we want white and background color we want this color okay now let's see now as you can see when i hover this the background color changes and the text color also changes and it remains white so this is looking nice now let's see some more changes if you see over here this is not a rectangle button we have some rounded corners over here so let's make these corners rounded or okay over here if you see the border radius if you increase uh, this radius uh, the uh, corners will get rounded if you increase it to something like 100 it will become something like this okay but this is not 100 here we have a very simple or very small roundation so we'll see we'll make it uh, maybe 20 uh, not even 20 i think let's make it 5 okay so 5 is looking better and i also notice one thing that the uh, space at the left hand side and right hand side is not very much but here we have a lot of space in the left and right so let's in decrease that at the bottom you'll see padding now that is what the space is okay so right and left padding is 40 let's make it 35 so may let's make left and right padding as 35 okay so with this we complete the first section as you can see guys within few minutes we have completed a complete section okay if you want to change this subtitle what you can do you can just simply click on the, over here and you can change the text from here okay once you are done with all these uh, settings just click on update now once you update the page over here will also be updated so let's uh, reload this one okay now as you can see this is how our website is looking at present this is the top section this is looking amazing now let's change this section okay the second section so let's scroll down first thing is to change the color and the text here it says services and in the demo website it says our services and after that we have a subtitle and also divider but here we don't have any subtitle and divider so let's do that first let's make it our services so click on services 
at the left hand side you will see these options now let's type in our services over here exactly like this one now go to style let's change this color this is complete black we don't we don't want that now here we if you see the default color the second col color besides the blue select that one okay also the weight of the of this font is a lot and here the weight is uh, you know very decent weight it is not that bold but this one is a very bolder okay so what you can do if you want to change that we have this typography option click on this pencil button and the weight is 900 let's make it uh, 600 yeah now it is looking much better okay now after this we have this subtitle so let's add this subtitle so what you can do you can click on this uh, link over here or this logo at the top right logo as you can see this dot dot logo click on that and here we have the heading element now you can drag this heading element below this title okay now here we have the heading element and here it says lorem ipsum you know, some dummy text so what i'll do i'll just copy this text from here and paste it over here now here it says lorem ipsum now because it is center aligned what i'll do i'll make it center align at the bottom you'll see alignment here it is this center option select center align go to style first let's change the color this is blue color let's make it the same color dark uh, color dark gray color and also change the style as you can see this style is very simple and very nice one so let's change the style so select typography in the font family search for poppins and let's decrease the weight to maybe 400 let's select 400 yeah 400 is looking nice okay so this this is now now looking nice and after that we have this beautiful divider over here let's put that divider because this divider really increases and beautifies the website so let's put that divider again click on this icon and you here you'll see the divider element drag this divider below this subtitle okay here we have now this divider at present is looking very boring so let's ch change this style first thing is to change the weight so let's make it to uh, four okay or maybe three it's all up to you okay i'm putting three let's change the color to something like this yeah this is looking better okay it's a darker shade and let's change the width to maybe okay this is percentage so let's make it 15 percent let's put 15 percent over here and let's make it center align okay now it's looking really awesome now click on this update button to update the changes that we have done now what if you notice one thing after this we have this icons okay now as i have promised you earlier while we were seeing the demo website i'll show you how to create these icons so let me show you what you can do open a new tab and type in flaticon.com okay so this is a free website you can create free icons you know you in fact you don't even have to create icon you just you have many pre-made icons so here you just have to change the style and install it for you okay for example the icon uh, which we are using will be available over here in the business one so select this business section but here if you see one thing it is simple uh, very simple icons we have only the outlines and here we have some colorful thing okay as you can see we have some colorful thing over here so when you scroll down you have this uh, section the again we have here it is okay business one click on this one now this is the icon that we have used if you notice over here this icon and this icon is same okay there are many different icons it's all up to you you can use any one of these now i want to use this one so what i'll do i'll hover this and click on this eye icon select this okay so this is how it is looking now and i want to change the color i want to make it something like this exactly like my demo website okay the uh, color which i have selected over here which is pink and greenish type of color so let me do that first what i'll do i'll click on this button which says edit icon okay so first we have to log in or register to edit it so i'll log in okay let me log in with google okay again select this one click on edit icon now let me see what are the different colors that are used and let me do one thing i don't have so that i don't have to do it again and again what i'll do is i'll copy both these things so first let me copy this open a new tab paste it over here okay so i'll paste it in the uh, in this section in the google section and let me search for the other one the other color 
Okay, let me select this. Okay, this is the other colors. Let me copy this. Okay, so these are the two colors that we'll be using. The first one is this uh, reddish kind of color and the second one is this pink color, okay? So let we can now we can use this thing again and again. We don't have to inspect element again and again, okay? First, let's change the color of this one. So select this and let's make it, uh, okay, let's see. Over here, the color of that is reddish. So let's select the first one, copy it from here, okay? Now here we have the uh, color code. So don't copy this hashtag, just copy the code after that, that six digit code. Copy that thing, it is F75B5B, okay, copy that. Come over here, instead of this one, delete it and paste in our color. Now as you can see, the color has changed. Now let's also change the color of this graph. So select this graph, again come back over here. Now let's say, select the second one, 10C5A7 copy it, come back again, and instead of this, paste it over here. Now, as you can see, we have the exact same thing that we have over here. Fine, now what you can do is we can download this thing. So click on download button, select PNG. Now select 256 pixels. Now, as you can see, the image is downloaded. Okay, so we can use this image now. And similarly, you can create icons like this very, very easily. Okay, I think it is really, really easy to create something like this. So let's get rid of this now. Come back over here. Let's change this icon. So to do so, click on that icon. Here we have, let's delete it. Click on plus button, upload files, select files. Here we have all the three. Let me select three, click on open. Okay, this was the one, select this, click on insert media. Now we have the icon over here, okay? Now similarly, let's change this icon, select this, uh, delete this image, click on plus, and this is the rocket icon, select this one, click on insert media. Now the third one, let's select this one, click on insert media. Okay, so we have our icons over here. Now if you wanna change this text, you can change it easily, okay? Here we have the management text. For example, let's again click on the first one. So we have changed the icon. After that, we have the title and description here. As you can see, it says marketing. Now, instead of marketing, suppose you want to say technology. So you can just type in technology over here. Okay, now we have technology. And after that, we if you, you can also change this text. Okay, it's all up to you. So let me delete this text. And let me put it Lorem Ipsen again. Okay, so we have changed this text as well. And after that, what we can do is we can change the color. As I said you earlier, the color of this is uh, not the dark black. We want to change this color. Okay, so what you can do is again, select this style. And if you wanna increase the size of this icon here, we have the image size. You can increase it and you can make it anything you want. Okay, but I don't wanna do that. I think uh, it was fine, which is, uh, I think it was 20. So I think 20 is looking fine. Okay, but you can, you can increase or decrease it. It's all up to you. And you can also change the animation. For example, when I hover this icon, as you can see, it increases. So that is what the grow animation is. We have some more like, you know, uh, we have this pop one. So let's see. Okay, so as you can see, this is how the uh, animation is. We also have something like uh, float. Let's select float. Now, as you can see, the animation has changed. We have many others like uh, we have, uh, let's see, we have buzz. Let's select the buzz one. Now, as you can see, when I hover this icon, the animation changes. So it's all up to you. I think the grow one is a better one, very simple one. So I'll keep it to grow. Then after that, we have content. The thing which we have to change from here is the color of this technology. So I don't want the black color. I want this color, dark gray color. So I'll select this one. Also, I want to change the color of the subtitle. Uh, it is very light. I can even, I can just barely see that. So I can change that color and I'll make it dark gray again. Now this is looking much, much better. Okay, so this is how you change all these things. Now let's start change the style of this button. Okay, as you can see, the style of this button is very nice. We have this uh, pink color. When you hover this, uh, the color changes, the text remains same. So let's change that, click on this. Okay, you can change the text, but we don't have to change it because here also it says read more. Here also it's it says read more. Go to style and background color. Let's select this color. Okay, the first one. 
and let's paste it over here okay looking better and let's select the hover color so click on hover now let's select the second color code copy it from here and instead of this background color paste it over here now as you can see when i hover this this is what happens okay so this is looking really really amazing now one more thing is left if you see if you notice one thing when i hover this section for if you see in the demo website when i hover this uh, column the uh, background uh, has a border and that border color is this pink color but when i hover this the border color is green if you cannot see that what you can do you can upload or you can update this page and you can preview this page for example it will uh, show the preview over here now if you i think you will see much better when i hover this you see this green border we don't want the green border we want the pink border so what i can do now this time because we have to make a change in the column because this is entire column as you can see so what you can do we can hover here and here we have the column option this gray options over here and when i hover this it says edit column so click on that now go to style border and select the hover state because when i hover this then the border color changes now you'll see this green color over here change this green color and put the first color code the pink one so let's change and make it pink now as you can see when i hover this it becomes pink let's update this page come back to this page it is loading let's see okay now the when we hover this we get this beautiful uh, pink color so similarly you can change the button style and all these things for this as well or what you can do is you can just delete this button you can hover this remove this widget and you can copy this button two times let me show you duplicate widget now grab this thing over here okay it's just like this now grab this button over here just like this okay so this thing really saves a lot of time you don't have to do this thing again and again you just do it once and you copy it and just drag it here and there because as i said you earlier it is just drag and drop nothing more okay after that we have the third section now this is also a very beautiful section let's see how to make some changes over here so again come back over here let's scroll down now the first thing that we have to change over here is the background color you we have a very beautiful background color let's do that so what you can do you can hover this and select this option which says edit section so click on edit section and go to design or go to style and here we have the background color select the first option classic option and everything will become black by default but what you can do we can copy this code from here come back over here and let's change this color to this one now this is looking much better now let's change the color of the text to white all this the thing to white so let's do that select this one alternate numbers you can change the thing from here instead of alternate numbers if you want this to say nayar shake you can just type in nayar shake just like this okay so we have this thing changed now go to style text color make it white okay this is looking better and after that we have this text as well at the top are uh, are about so select this one go to style again text color make it white also we have to change the typography so select typography let's change the font family to atma let's change the or increase the size to maybe 20 make it 20 also increase the weight to 600 okay looking much better if you also notice we have this thing uh, at the bottom the divider okay here it is i don't know if you can see because the color of the divider is also green the background color is also green so that's why it is difficult to see but if you hover this you'll see this uh, blue section so click on that now here it is the color is this but we want the white color so select white color from here and we want to increase the width to maybe 30 so let's make it 30 and this is looking better and let's make the weight 3 okay fine so this is looking much better now now let's change the color of all these things uh, all these numbers all this percentage and text let's see how to change the percentage the text and also how to design it okay so click on this number now here if you see over here the starting number is one and the ending number so by default here it is 85 so suppose instead of 85 you want 73 so just type in 73 now as you can see it will stop at 73 percentage 
and instead of support suppose you want to say maybe design so you can just type in design over here now as you can see it says design and it says 73 okay now what you can do we can go to design or the style thing and the text color let's make it white and also the text color for the title okay select this and make this thing white as well now we have the design 73 percentage okay similarly we can do for this one select this the second one instead of 74 let's make it 85 okay again design let's make it white title make it white select the third one we don't have to change the percentage over here it's fine go to style change the color to white and change the title color to white as well okay looking better now one more thing is left if you see over here we have this white uh, color a white border color but here we have the green border color which is not looking nice so let's change that again we have to do the changes in the column so how about this this green section which says edit column click on that go to design and uh, go to border and here we have this green select this green make it white similarly for this column how about this click on edit column style border change this to white and also for the third one style border color white okay now click on update now if you see this website is this page is getting loaded let's see okay so this is looking amazing now let's see how to change this section okay okay here we what we have to do we have to increase the size of the icon change the color of the icon and we also have to change this image so let's do that let's first change this image so click on this image now let's delete this click on plus button click on upload select files and select this one select this file which says gallery and click on open insert media okay so we have this image over here now again or uh, if you see over here the uh, color is totally different the color is this dark gray and the style of this font is also different rest everything is fine so again select this uh, font if you want to change this thing for example here it says features to start if you want to change this thing to something you can change it okay you can just delete it from here and type in anything like you want okay now go to style uh, select the color and select the second one the dark gray color now select this our gallery section go to style let's make it a dark gray color select the typography let's change the font family to atma the font size to 20 font weight to 600 okay looking much better now select this thing or uh, the icon one and we have to uh, increase the size of the icon and we also have to change the color of the icon so the color is this one so let's copy it from here come over here and here we have the icon if you want to change this icon if you want instead of this pencil uh, if you want something you can just search for it for example if you want car you can just search for car you can uh, or if you want you can search for something like trophy you can search for anything you want okay so we have this trophy over here but because here in the demo website we have used pencil so let's stick with pencil so search search for pencil icon here it is select it and you can also change this text from here and instead of design if you want to say something else you can change it from here for example instead of design you can change this to maybe seo you can select seo now go to style the primary color of the icon now this is what we have to change and put in this color now as you can see the icon color is changed now let's increase the size of the icon and let's make it something like this because i think this is looking much better so come over here and here we have the size let's increase this and let's make it to uh, something like this i think 60 is looking better 60 pixels is looking better now you can also have some hover effect for example i can hover and you can have some animation like uh, uh, maybe something like grow now as you can see when i hover this icon it grows now here we don't have any hover effects but i was just showing you that you can use something like this and let's change the color and everything of this content this uh, title and everything so select this content select this color instead of black let's make it dark gray and also the description 
instead of this light color select it dark gray this is looking much better and i just noticed one more thing that here we have this divider but here we don't have it now we don't have to create the divider again and again what we can do is we can come over here and we can save this divider as our global element so what you can do we can hover over here click on this pencil button or hover over this pencil button you will see this option which says save widget click on that option you can name it anything so let's make it uh, or let's name it divider click on save okay so as you can see this uh, divider is saved as the global element so let's scroll down and if you want to uh, use this divider over here go to global you will see this divider drag it over here okay so we have the uh, divider over here first thing that we, we have to do is unlink okay and after that we can edit it for example instead of uh, 15 let's make it 30 okay and instead of center align let's make it left align looking much better okay so this is how you do it now similarly you can change the color of this icon and all the text from here after that we have this section okay this section this uh, gallery or the portfolio section the first thing is that if you notice one thing the background color of this complete section is totally different it's not white it is something like light gray so let's do that come back over here hover over this and click on this edit uh, edit section go to style and select this background color select color and uh, select any light gray color so what you can do or you can just type in some code if you have like uh, f7 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 is also a light color or what you can do you can select some color from here whatever you like you can just select it from here so i am selecting ed 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 okay so this is how it is looking we have white and we have this color now let's change the color of this section or this title check out our work so say select this thing and obviously you can change the title from here instead of uh, check out our work you can change it uh, to maybe check out our portfolio if you want okay i'm just showing you that you can change it from here okay now go to style change this color to dark gray fine okay just like this one now go to the second one the subheading go to style change this color to dark gray again go to typography and let's make it poppins uh, let's increase the size to 20 pixels and uh, the weight to 400 okay looking much better now again we have this a uh, divider over here so what you can do we can again go back over here click on this global element we have this divider drag it or bring it over here okay now we don't have to do any changes over here so it's all right now click on this image now as you can see this is using image gallery so what you can do is we can uh, just delete all these images from here here you have the clear option click on clear make it delete now let's add our images click on add images upload files select files and select all these files all these files are given to you for free in you, you'll see a link in the video description below click on that link and you can download all these images for free okay so select all these images gallery 1 gallery 2 till gallery 6 click on open fine now click on create a new gallery click on insert gallery okay so we have this thing something like this now this still looks uh, totally different from this one here we don't have any gap and it is all full width so let's do that come back over here so what you can do is you can click on this uh, edit section and content width you can select full width okay now as you can see everything is full width but we still have some gap between the images so what you can do okay here no gap is selected but we still have some gap so what you can do is we can come over here select this section okay uh, make sure it is image size full column 3 okay okay come to style and here we have this spacing okay by default it is 10 make it 0 okay now this uh, this should look exactly like the demo website let's see let's update this page come back to this page let it is automatically reloading let's scroll down now as you can see this is looking exactly like the demo website except that we have some space over here as you can see we have some space let's delete this thing okay this is the thing that we have get rid of that we have to get rid of 
Now select this uh, edit section, go to advance. And here if you see in the bottom padding, we have this 100. Let's make it zero. Now as you can see that thing is gone. Now again, let's scroll down. Now as you can see, I know you guys, uh, you guys have are noticing that it is really, really easy to create a website with this. Oh, no? You have this structure ready for you. You just have to change this style according to you. And changing the style also it is really easy. So I hope you guys are learning something. You guys are learning how to create a website really fast because in today's world, uh, if you're watching this video to create your own website or if you want to create a website for your friend, for uh, some family member, or if you're a freelancer or a web designer and if you, you, it is really crucial today to create a website design, a professional website in a very short period of time. So this tool really helps it out. Okay. So it is really easy to create a professional design and in a very short period of time. So let's see how to do that. Now, so let's select this uh, title, go to style. Let's change this to dark gray. Select this subtitle, go to style. Let's change this to dark gray as well. Change the typography, Fa family should be poppins. Okay, let's change the size to 20 and the weight to 400, looking better. Now we have the contact form. So what you can do, you can click on that contact form and you have three different options over here, like name, email and message. Now, if you want, you can add some new item or you can delete some item. For example, if you don't want this name, you can just delete it. Now, as you can see, we have only email and message, but I think we need that. So if you want to do uh, undo some change, what you can do, you can just press control Z and you have that name thing again over here. Okay. Now let's change some general settings. So what you can do, uh, click on name and select type as text label as name and placeholder. Now, as you can see, the placeholder is this under that you see Bobby D that is the placeholder. You can change this thing and put something like uh, this, like, you know, enter your name here. So enter your name here. So you're saying the user to enter the name over here. Now, after that, what you can do, if you want to make this thing required, you can make this thing. Yes. You can change the width. Uh, this is hundred percent, which is fine. If you want, you can make it 50%. 40% it's all up to you. Okay. But I think hundred percent is better because that is what we have in the demo website. Now, after that, we have the email section, select the second one. And again, uh, instead of this placeholder, you can type something like enter your email here. Okay. And uh, make sure the type is selected as email. Now, why is it important to select the type? Now, because when someone tries to uh, enter something and they, if they leave it like this and when they click on the send message, okay, as you can see, this is getting, this is giving an error that this is not the email format. So this thing should look uh, like an email, email format, like something at the rate of something.com. Okay. So it should look something like that. Okay. And if you want to make it required, obviously you have to make it required. Make sure to uh, make this thing. Yes. After you do all these changes, you have this submit button option. Click on that. Let's change the submit style. Okay. If you see over here, the uh, normal color is this. And when we hover over this, it becomes pink. So let's do that. Okay. First we have to do some uh, other changes. Like instead of this text, send message. If you want, you can change it. After that, we have action after submit. So select that and make sure email is there. Now, because we are using the blocks, everything is over here at present uh, automatically. So what happens after you submit? So you send an email. Okay. You send all the details to somewhere. Now let's see where all the details are going. So select this email section. Okay. Now here, instead of this email address, put in your own email address. Okay. So I'm putting my email address over here. Okay. Now this is the email uh, where you will get all these options. Okay. Where whenever someone fills in this form, click on this send button, all this information will be sent on this email. So make sure you put in your email address over here. Okay. And in the, uh, from email address, you can change it or you can just leave it, uh, just like this. Now metadata, you have some metadata. So whenever someone fills in this form and click on the send button, you will receive these metadata or this information like the date, the time, the page URL, the uh, uh, IP address of the person and so on. Okay. So once you're done all, once you're doing all this thing, click on update. Now let's change the style of this button. So 
go to style section select button now instead of this background color let's change this to this one okay let's put it this okay now as you can see it has changed and also let's change the hover background color to this color okay so copy it and paste it over here now as you can see when i hover this this is how it is looking now let's change this section now as you can see here we have only the map we don't have all this uh, thing over here so first we have to delete it so hover over here and click on uh, cut this thing okay and also we don't want this black color background colors what you can do you can select this edit column go to style we have this color background color select this click on clear we don't want that now click on this map okay first thing is that you no know, the first thing that you have to do you have to put in your address so what i'll do instead of this uk address i will put mumbai over here now as you can see i'm getting this mumbai map and select the uh, height as uh, maybe 400 or 450 i'm selecting 450 now go to advance okay not here select this column again edit column and go to advance and if you see over here some padding is selected that's why we have gap from all the side we don't want any gap we have this map uh, something like this so just select everything and make it zero all padding zero and it will look something like this now click on update okay one more thing is left if you see again yeah no I, I okay fine everything is fine i think nothing is left come back to this page let's see the changes so this is how our website is looking at present everything is looking fine we have this section as well now let's uh, play around with this section, our client section. Come over here. The first thing that we have to do, we have to change the color of this background color. Okay. So let's do that. Let's hover over here and click on this edit section. Go to style, background color, and let's put the same color that we have put earlier, ED, ED, ED. Okay. So we have this background color. Now select this, the title. Go to style, let's change the color to dark gray. Now select this one, the subtitle, go to style, let's change the color to dark gray. And also let's change the typography to poppins. Okay, font size to 20 and the weight to 400. Okay, looking much better. And we also have this beautiful divider. So you know how to get that, click on this icon, go to global, select this divider, bring it over here. Okay, just below this one. Okay, maybe below this over here. Okay, so this is looking much better. Okay, but I see there is uh, a lot of space over here between this divider and this. So let's uh, fix that. Select this thing, uh, the second one, the subtitle, go to advance. And here if you see the bottom margin is 50, let's make it 10 or maybe let's make it zero. Okay, now this is looking much better. Fine, now click on update. Now, if you want to change uh, all these icons uh, from here, what you can do is you can select this thing. It is just a simple image. You can just change this. You can delete this image and upload your own image, whatever you want. Okay. For example, if you want this image, select it, click on install. Okay. So you have this thing over here. And after that, we have the last section, which is this one. Okay. So select this, click on this one. We don't have to change the background color because this is how it is. But we don't want this thing uh, here. We have the title and subtitle. We don't want the subtitle one. So what I'll do is I'll delete it. I'll click on title, go to design. Okay. Typography. Let's make it poppins. Simple one. Let's change this to 600 width, 600 weight. Okay. Looking better. Now select this button. Now what we can do, we can again go over here because we don't want to uh, do all these changes again we can hover this button click on this save widget and add this widget as button click on save now come back over here at the bottom delete this button and bring this button over here okay now we just have to change uh, we first we have to unlink it and we just have to change the text and instead of read more here it says start free trial so let's type in start free trial and we also have to change the link now we will be creating the contact page very soon 
after this we'll be creating about us then maybe the services and after that at the end we'll create the contact us page so you can put the contact page link over here after you create that page okay now for now you can just leave this thing like this now click on update come back to this page now as you can see with this we have successfully completed our home page now just one simple thing is left and that is the animations for example let me show you this when we refresh our demo website we have a lot of animations going on let's see now as you can see this all these are animations as you can see whenever i scroll i see all these animations going on okay so let's put this animation let's see how to put these animations so first let's select this header this heading uh, go to advanced and here you have entrance animation select that and let's select maybe oh uh, slide from left slide in left okay as you can see this is looking better and for the second one subheading let's select maybe slide from left that uh, slide from right for this one okay looking better select the button go to advance entrance animation and let's make it to uh, zoom in up okay this is how it is go to click on update let's refresh this page now as you can see the animation over here okay so similarly you can add animation to all these things uh, okay you can add animation to each and everything or you can add animation to a column or to a section to a row for example if you want to add animation to this entire column what you can do is select this column edit column go to advance and for this let's make it fade in left okay select this column go to advance let's make it fade in right better select the middle column advance fade in maybe up okay now we can select this title advance and let's make it uh, slide in maybe slide in up yeah slide in up for this one select the subtitle advance entrance animation slide in down let's select that okay here it is slide in down select this one the divider first unlink it okay now go to advance entrance let's make it to uh, bounce in up let's see how it looks okay better you can also change uh, the duration as you can see normal slow fast if you want to make it fast you can select this it is fast if you want to make it slow now as you can see it is quite slow so you can change this as well okay let's update and see the changes come back over here okay you can see all these animations okay looking better so similarly you can add animations on everything over here once you are done with this what you can do is you can optimize your website for different devices for example we were creating a website for a desktop version but if you want to know how your website will look in a mobile phone what you can do here at the bottom you have this responsive mode click on that and select mobile okay so this is how your website will look on a mobile phone okay quite better okay so you can change anything you want but this is how it is looking on a mobile phone i think it is looking very good for example if you want to change uh, the size of this icon in a mobile phone what you can do is select this or maybe if you want to make it center line you can select this select center line now as you can see it is center line now if you want to make if you want to change the style or the size go to style and instead of 28 you can make it to maybe 20 okay so this is how it will look on a mobile phone but in the de on desktop it will look exactly same okay now once you are done with everything just click on update and with this we have completed our home page okay let's again go to desktop okay so now after that let's see what we have next okay after this we have this about us page let's click on about us okay so this is how it is looking about us page let's create this page now okay before that if you see over here we have this client section and the bottom section used over here so what we can do is we can save both this section so let's do that now how about this edit section you see this save a uh, section over here click on save section let's name it uh, clients okay spelling is wrong click on save and similarly let's save this section as well okay as the footer section 
click on save okay so we have both these sections now we can just cut this thing okay now let's add the about us page and let's create it something like this so what you can do is we can hover this uh, at the top you see new hover this and click on page so we are adding new page let's add the title as about us okay again come at the bottom and let's do all these changes first content layout it is full width we don't want any margins so let's disable it go to header we don't want the top bar so let's disable it header style it is transparent after that go to title disable it breadcrumb disable it now click on publish now click on edit with elementor okay fine so first thing that we have over here is this section so again we can use simple blocks so click on add template now go to blocks now go to services let's see here it is services and search something like this okay here we have the icons used okay we are not using images this time this time we are using icons so you can select this one okay design service we can select this one so select this and click on insert okay so we have something like this okay it is looking very much similar we just have to design it first thing that we have to do we have to design it something like this as you can see at the top we have this background color and bottom we have this curve thing okay we have to put this curve let's see how to do that first edit section make it full width okay now go to style background type in fact not uh, in the yeah background type in the background overlay select classic options and copy this code second color code color and paste it over here now if, if you see over here this is looking quite light if you want to make it dark you can just increase this thing from here or if you want to make it light you can do it from here okay it's all up to you i think this is looking better now once you do so we will have to make it something like this at the bottom if you see this is the curve animation not the regular one so what you can do you'll see something called shape divider click on shape divider and because we have to divide uh, change the shape of the bottom select bottom and in the type uh, select uh, curve now as you can see this curve is not the one we want we want uh, to change it so here you have the invert option let's invert this curve okay so this is how we want it okay let's see okay this is how we want it this is looking better but i think uh, this background color is not looking better let's change that come to background overlay let's select a darker version or maybe let's remove this overlay from here okay go to normal background and let's upload this color okay i think this is looking much better okay let's see how it looks okay this is how it is looking now what you can do is uh, let's again go to this section the shape divider bottom okay here we have the width so we can increase the width to something like uh, 200 and when you change the height you can see this is how it looks so you can change it to anything you want okay so let's make it uh, maybe 450 okay yeah 450 is looking better okay so this is how it is looking at present now let's click on update let's click on this preview changes it will open a new tab and this is how our website is looking at present now we have to do some changes again first thing is that we have to change this text okay this one select this one go to style and here instead of design services first let's change it to about us so let's type in about us now go to style white color okay and let's change the typography let's change the weight to maybe 600 let's make it 600 yeah better after that we have this simple divider and simple text like this let's do that go to this click on this icon go to global bring the divider over here and let's unlink it okay change the color to white and let's uh, decrease the size instead of 15 let's make it 10 and after that we have this simple text over here at the bottom so again come back to this section and say bring this heading over here 
okay paste anything you want or type anything you want in the heading make it center align go to style first thing is that we have to change the color so let's make it white okay now let's change the font family to poppins okay better and size to maybe 20 okay or maybe this time let's make it 18 let's change the weight to 400 okay and uh, your yeah, rest everything is looking fine okay so we have something like this now if you see one thing this thing is uh, these three different sections are not on this uh, not over here it is half on this and half over at the bottom so let's see how to do that for that we'll have to remove this thing from here and put it in a new uh, column so first what we'll do is we'll click on this button which says add a new section and select the first one single column and now drag this thing drag this thing over here to this thing okay what we have added just now now this is how it will look okay the, now this is not uh, on this section now to bring it on this section first we'll need some gap at the bottom of that section at the top section so what you'll do is uh, select this one edit section at the top go to advance let's add some gap at bottom so let's make instead of 100 let's make it 300 okay now we have some decent amount of gap over here now we can bring this thing above so select this section now go to advance and first delink this so click on this and in the top margin put it to something like 150 and before that 150 put a minus sign okay so it will be minus 150 now this is how it will look now we need to increase it a bit so let's make it minus 250 okay so this is looking exactly like we have on the demo website okay exactly like this now click on update okay fine so now let's start doing some more changes let's see how to change the icon the text color and all these things and also how to put this uh, animation when you have over this we get this shadow how to do that let's see that first select this thing click on over here and instead of star we want this uh, history icon so search for history over here type in history and you'll get this icon select it okay and instead of print design we want it to say history so here if you see let me search for that yeah here it is title instead of print design just type in history and now we have it now go to design or go to style in the secondary color select this and what we have we have dark blue color select this one now go to content at the bottom again instead of this black color select dark blue okay so this is how it is looking now and after this what we have to do we have to put this thing okay as you can see the corners over here are a little bit rounded and we have a very uh, nice uh, shadow at the at the bottom of this column so let's do that so hover here and click on this edit column okay now go to style border and border radius let's put 10 okay or maybe let's increase this to 2020 okay i think we don't have to put it over here we we, we can put it on this thing as uh, okay so click on this icon again go to style not style go to advance and here it is border okay let's put 10 pixels border radius and yeah it is looking better you, you can increase this as well if you want you can make it 20 it will become more uh, like this now we also have to add some shadow so here if you see uh, at the bottom here it says box shadow so click on this pencil button now if you want you can increase the spread when you increase this thing uh, the shadow will spread and you can in, uh, decrease, in, change the color of the shadow if you want to make it a little darker you can select something like this now you can see it more clearly but we don't want uh, something like this we want uh, okay something like this yeah uh, this is looking better and we also have to change the spread let's change it decrease the spread to maybe one one is fine now i just noticed one thing that the speed is quite a uh, slow 
so we are, will see we'll have to change that as well okay first let's see how to do all these things so we have this thing like this now we also have to change the hover effect now this is for regular effect and now if you want to change the hover effect we have it over here select hover and first we have to change the hover color so when we hover this it becomes green which is looking terrible so let's change this and again select the same color as you can see okay okay this is not the one i'm sorry this is for uh, this section this is not for the icon this is for the border and we don't want any border so we can just clear this thing or we can select this light gray color okay that will be much better and uh, here we have transition duration delete uh, or change this and make it one just make it one okay now again we have we want some box shadow so click on this now this time uh, earlier it was the spread was one and now we want the spread to be maybe five yeah five is looking better and also change the color and make it more darker okay as you can see now the spread is more uh, like this one okay and the border uh, radius was 25 so let's make it 25 again click on update let's see how it is looking at present so this is how it is looking as you can see we have this uh, spray we have this box shadow and we also have this uh, corners rounded now when we hover this as you can see the uh, the uh, the shadow becomes more darker okay so this is how you do it okay let's change the hover color because this green is looking terrible so again click on this and go to style now here we have icon hover here it is change this and let's put something like this or maybe let's put the same color this blue color now as you can see when i hover only the size of the icon changes but the color remains same okay now once you do so just click on update now do the same exact things for this as well now if you go to start doing all these things it will take some time so what you can do is you can just uh, delete these things from here okay it will save you some time and you can copy it from here duplicate it bring this thing over here bring it over here it will save a lot of time now click on this and only change the uh, title and this thing the icon so it will save a lot of time for example instead of this let's select trophy okay and instead of uh, history let's select mission go to style change the color to this again i can hover or maybe content select this color make it look like this okay so it will save a lot of time you don't have to do this box shadow border radius again it will save a lot of time okay once you're done click on update then after this we have this section a simple title then an icon and two different rows so let's see how to do that so this is this doesn't require any block this is really simple so what you can do we can click on add new section select the first one single column and first we have some simple text so what you can do is we can bring this element texting or the heading element over here and type in our story make it center align go to style let's change this color to something like this or maybe like this pink color okay now go to typography let's change this to uh, maybe poppins let's increase the size to uh, let's make it 40 pixels change the weight to 400 yeah looking better so this is how you do it after that we have this simple icon so again come back to this element section and here we have the icon grab this icon put it over here let's change this icon we don't want star we want heart so search for heart the color is same blue which is fine we just have to change this size okay so let's change it let's make it uh, small like uh, maybe let's make it 20 or maybe 25 okay so 25 i think is looking better now let's put this uh, simple text very simple text some dummy text so again what you can do is we can bring this heading over here at the bottom paste in this text or put in your own text make it left align go to style select the text color dark gray typography select poppins okay let's change the 
size to 20 or maybe not 20 let's make it 16 or maybe 18 would be fine 18 weight 400 or maybe 300 yeah 300 is looking better okay line height you can increase the line height as you can see there is a lot of gap between lines over here so we can increase the line height okay to maybe 2 fine now we want one more uh, column over here but we cannot do this like this what you can do we can again go to element and bring this column thing over here bring this thing in the first column okay we have something like this now what you can do is we can copy this thing now we can copy this thing and we can cop bring this one over here okay so we have it exactly like this okay so this section is also done after that we have this member section so let's see how to do that click on add template now obviously you have to go to blocks and instead of services let's select uh, I think it is called members let's see I think okay I think it is called team select team yeah here it is now we have so many beautiful designs over here but the one which we have selected is this one okay six images select this click on insert okay as you can see this is how it looks now what you have to do we have to make it uh, full width so select this edit section stretch it and instead of box make it full width okay now select this section as well okay and instead of box full width and uh, rest everything should be fine let's see we still have some gap over here and maybe that is because okay everything looks fine again come back over here okay here we have to select no gap as well fine now again for this one select this uh, section make it full width and no gap okay now if you notice one thing this is looking exactly like this one and obviously now I have uh, while creating this website I thought that this section was so perfect that I did not change anything over here you know all these images the animation over here when you hover this it, it was so perfect that I just did not change anything but obviously I'll show you how you can change this so suppose if you want to change this thing just click on over here instead of this image you can select this and add some other image like uh, maybe this image let's select this click on insert image okay we have it like this so it's all up to you if you want to change the name for example here it says Amanda Lee and web designer so you can change this as well go to content instead of Amanda Lee let's make it uh, King Batch obviously this is not King Batch but we can put it over here instead of web designer okay now this is how you change it similar you can change this for all these different uh, images once you're done click on update and after that if you see we have the same two sections our clients and this footer section okay so we don't have to do anything just click on add template go to my templates and here we have clients select this click on insert and we have everything over here okay and just notice one thing that we have some gap at the bottom we have to get rid of this so what you can do you can select this thing go to advance and bottom padding make it zero okay now we don't have any gap over here now again click on add template now select the footer click on insert okay we have this thing over here click on update come back to this page it is loading automatically now this is how your website is looking I think we need some gap over here rest everything is just super awesome okay now as you can see it is so easy to create a website using elementor 2.0 with the use you know with the use of blocks it just makes our website and it just simplifies our work it, it, it is really nice you know the design is cool everything is nice and it, it, it is saving a lot of time so I think this is a really great update on part of elementor the blocks are really awesome I love it and I hope you guys are also enjoying it let's add some space over here select this go to advance uh, dealing this in top padding let's make it 100 yeah it is looking fine click on update okay with this we have also completed the about us page we can just cancel this now let's create okay I think we should not have cancelled this let me do one thing click on this edit with elementor again 
because what we have to do we have to save this whole page as a template why because if you see this is the about us page let us open the services page okay let me open a services page in a new tab now as you can see very much similar we have this very similar kind of design over here the about us and the services are very similar the title the color of the background the three sections over here the three three sections over here so everything is very much similar so it will save a lot of time if we save this thing as a template okay let me show you here we have now what i can do is i can click on this option save option and click on save as template i hope you saw that okay besides this uh, update this is uh, the i can the top uh, arrow select the top arrow click on save as template and uh, this was the let's type in page template click on save okay we have the page template over here now what you can do is we can just go to our website we can cut all these things okay did we do any change i don't think so let me do update okay we can cut this thing let's cut everything okay now you will notice one thing when you go to your website you don't see your home page now there is a problem over here because we have created our home page but we still don't see it that is because we have not set that page our, as our home page we have just created a page named it home page but that is not actually our home page so let's make that page as our official home page okay so to do so come back to your dashboard and hover settings from the left hand side and click on reading now here by default your latest post is selected select this one a static page and in, in the home page select the home page click on save changes now again go to our website let's see what happens now as you can see we have the home page over here so this is working fine now again hover new and click on page this time let's give a title of services because now we'll create services page and again at the bottom content layout make it full width disable margins header we don't want the top bar header style should be transparent and title we don't want that so disable it uh, breadcrumbs also just disable it click on publish now click on edit with elementor okay so now instead of doing all this thing it is really simple just click on add template go to my template and here select the page template click on insert and you have everything over here okay it, it is really really simple now what you have to do we just have to change all these things instead of about us let's put in our services okay and we can change this subtitle now instead of history mission we have already seen how to change this thing but just a quick let me show you very quickly how you can change that click on over here we want the star icon over here so search so star we have the star and here it says print design so instead of history let me type print design okay and let's change the color to pink everything will be pink so let's make it pink like this let's copy this color code and come over here i can hover first put the same color okay then content put the same color okay so very quickly we have this thing okay now click on update after that we have this section our services section and we don't have this section so we can delete this section we can also delete this section but we need these two sections our clients and this section so we can keep this thing and above this our client we can add this section our services so what we'll do is we'll click on this plus button add section click on add template go to blocks and instead of this category we'll select services so let's search for services here it is now last time we have used this one image one and we have used the design one and this time we have to use something like this okay let's search okay i think uh, okay if you see this one this is exactly the same section okay our services this one so select this click on insert okay now as you can see we have the exact same thing over here okay we just have to do some very basic changes like we always do change the design so first click on this go to style change this to dark gray 
now we have to change this colors to our color okay to our primary and secondary color the uh, style of this icon and the color of this text so let's do that click on this icon you can obviously change the icon from here we have seen this many different times click on style primary color put in your color over here now when you hover this it remains same which is fine now go to content again color put in your color over here fine now very quickly let's do it for others uh, other icon as well okay okay we have it now the consultants style let's change the icon color go to content change the content color art direction very quickly let's make and change the color okay very f okay now the prototyping style content good web development style the last one okay it is really easy go to content change it just like this okay now click on update now within few minutes okay just two or three minutes we have our services page ready and not just a regular services page but a really beautiful and professional service page okay i think this is really looking terrific so this is helping a lot guys as you can see we are creating really beautiful and professional pages within few minutes it is saving a lot of time okay so let's not waste any time and let's move on and after that we have to create the contact us page let's see how that looks click on contact us okay as you can see again it looks very much similar so it will be very easy to create this as well now let's uh, get rid of this let's go to your dashboard now hover pages and click on add new now this time let's add the contact us title again come back over here main element content layout will be full width we want to disable margins header we don't want the top bar and header style will be transparent title we want to disable it breadcrumbs we want to disable it click on publish now click on edit with elementor okay now again we because we have a very similar design we'll do the same thing we'll click on add template go to my templates page template click on insert okay we have everything over here now first let's change this title instead of about us let's type in contact us and we don't want this thing over here so we can just delete it okay now we can also delete this section and this and all these sections okay fine so we have this thing over here now we have to add this contact form okay let's do that what you can do is you can click on maybe okay what do we do let's let's click on add a new section single column and let's get the contact form here it is let's get this contact form over here this is how it looks okay now it's time to change this thing and make it look something like this okay so first thing if you see over here this contact form is quite wide and this one is quite you know nice one it is not that wide it is narrow and this is looking much better so what we can do is we can set a width for this one so select this one edit section and in the boxed you can select the width okay whatever width you want as you can see when i uh, change this thing we can say the changes over here so let me put in 800 maybe yeah 800 is looking better now what you can do is uh, uh we have to add some uh, background color as you can see background color here is white and we have to add some shadow so for that what we can do is we can click on this hover here and click on edit column go to style color and we can add any color like this as you can see when you change this color the background color changes we want white so select white now because we have some gap over here as you can see between this line and all this thing we have some gap from all the sides so let's add those gap click on go to advance go to padding first delink everything top maybe let's add 40 pixels uh, right 50 bottom we need some more so i'll type 60 and left because we have right 50 so let's put left 50 as well okay now we cannot see any changes over here because everything is white but you'll uh, very soon see the change when we put this uh, shadow over here so let's do that now go to style and 
go to border okay now let's add a very simple border solid color put one pixel width okay and change select a very light uh, gray color okay like this one now after doing this let's do border shadow so select box shadow now as you can see when we select this we can see this shadow so let's do some changes let's increase this spread to maybe maybe not yeah five is looking better and uh, let's increase the blur to i think uh, let's make it 40 okay so the spread is 5 the blur is 40 and this is looking really amazing now we also need to have this rounded corners as you can see we don't have these sharp corners we have this rounded corner so let's do that let's add border radius of around 20 okay we have the rounded corners it is looking nice now again like earlier we have we have done and we know how to do that we have to shift this thing a little bit up so select this thing edit section okay the whole section and click on advance dealing this margin type in 150 and just put a minus sign below besides 150 and you will have this thing over here if you want to make if you want to increase this you can make 200 as well click on update let's see how it looks click on preview changes okay so this is how it is looking i think it is really looking amazing so come back over here okay now what do you have to do we have to we have seen how to do all these things but we have not seen uh, about the form settings so again come click on this form and we have already seen something uh, related to forms earlier so we don't have to do it again what you can do is you can just have to change the email so select the email section and make sure you have your email address over here okay this is the only thing that you have to take care about and then we have this send button okay the okay i forgot to put the design over here but you know how to do it we have seen this thing earlier now after this we have this thing contact details and then we have uh this uh some uh, box icons and some simple text so let's see how to do that click on add new section single column okay and i think first we have to put some gap at the bottom so first select this uh, section this uh, section go to advance and let's add some bottom pa bottom padding of maybe 100 pixels okay now this is looking better now we can bring this heading over here okay and here it says contact details so copy it paste in contact details make it center line go to style make it uh, okay pink color like this select pop ins or you can select any text of your choice let's make it 40 pixels let's decrease the weight to 400 i guess yes looking better and after that we have two different columns as you can see column one column two so let's again come to elements take this column bring it over here we have two columns now in the left column we have this thing list icon list so again go to elements and search for icon list which is uh, let me see okay which is over here under general elements if you see an, under general elements you have this icon list bring this thing under uh, column one and you already have three things over here now let's change that first we have this phone uh, call a phone thing phone icon then we have the phone number and we have some dummy number over here so let's put that select the first one and select first let's select the icon select this and type phone and select this one phone square we have this icon over here now select the text now if you notice one thing over here the phone which is written over here is bold and this number is simple text okay so what you can do first let's paste in but when we paste it you see the phone everything is uh, simple but we want the phone to be bold so what you can do is before this phone we can type something like this like uh, uh, left uh, arrow and type in strong then right arrow or greater than le uh, less than sign okay so we want strong between this greater than less than sign now again copy this uh, strong and paste it after phone okay and just before this s put this forward slash okay now as you can see once you do that the phone becomes bolder so this is looking better now go to style 
and let's increase the space between this list to maybe 10 which is looking better now go to icon let's increase the size of the icon to maybe 30 pixels let's make it 30 pixels and you can change the color if you want i don't want to do that now go to style or uh, go to text and let's uh increase the in indent between text and this uh, uh icon and let's make it uh, maybe 20 pixels or not 20 maybe 15 will will be better go to typography and increase the size of the text to 20 pixels okay so this is how it should look now click on update now again click on over here now you can go to content again and select the second one okay now what i'll do before that i'll copy this thing this uh, phone number thing strong with strong so that i don't have to put that strong again and again now select the second one select the envelope icon over here okay this one envelope we have this envelope icon now under text put it paste in this and instead of phone just type in email okay and type in your email address over here instead of this phone number so mail at mail.com now select the third one item list three here we have clock icon and we have some timing so select this and search for the clock icon and here we have the timing so first let's type in time and let's make it to uh, maybe 7 a.m to 5 p.m it's all up to you click on update and here in the right column we have some simple dummy text so let's see how to do that again come to this element section bring this text over here put in or paste in the text you want it is center align if you notice over here it is center align go to style change this color to dark gray change the typography let's make it poppins okay let's uh, make it 16 or maybe 18 pixels okay where is that gone here it is let's make it 18 pixels okay with 400 let's increase the line height to maybe yeah 2 is looking better not 2 let's make it 1.5 maybe yeah 1.5 is looking better okay now rest everything is looking fine click on update and after this we have this simple map so let's put this map click on add new section single column go to elements and bring this google maps over here okay we have this google maps over here now first let's add some gap at top so select this go to uh, advance and first dealing this and let's add some margin at top maybe maybe 100 pixels should be fine yeah now go to layout make it stretch okay full width and instead of box select full width okay and column gap we don't want any gap so no gap okay now it's time to increase the size so click on this map and first put in your address instead of this london address so i'll put mumbai over here okay now we can see the map of mumbai or i if you want i can be more specific and i'll type in cyan mumbai okay now this is how it looks and you can increase or decrease the zoom level as you can see you can increase or decrease the zoom level from here okay when i increase it like as you can see when i do it 15 this is how it looks and th i think this is the perfect zoom level you can also increase the size of in increase the height so let me make it maybe 500 okay this is looking much better okay rest everything is looking fine click on update let's see how this looks okay okay i think this is looking awesome this is really looking nice now let's start creating the menu as you can see this is how our menu is looking we have this uh, divider over here which we don't want and we don't have our icon over here we let's see how to upload the logo how to make a menu so again what you can do let's delete all these things and let's come back to our dashboard first let's create a menu so how our appearances are from the left hand side and click on menus now to create a new menu we have to name it so let's name this menu as main menu and click on create menu 
and let's select everything that we want over here so we want the home page about us services and contact us page click on add to menu and make sure from here main is selected okay now we want the home page at the top then we want the about and services and at the end we want the contact us with now we don't want this to say home page we just want it to say home okay now click on save menu let's come back over here let's go to home page now as you can see we have the menu over here but is but this is not looking nice we, we also don't have the uh, logo over here we, we have to get rid of this divider so what you can do you can click on this customize link at the top click on over here okay guys now from the left hand side first let's change the logo so you'll see that under i guess yeah under header select header and we have logo select logo click on select logo upload the files upload your logo if you have or you can use this dummy logo which i have over here select this click on open click on select you can edit this or crop this so click on crop image and we should see our logo over here let's see okay here is our logo let's increase or decrease the size okay so i am putting this as 90 pixels width which is looking fine now let's come back go to general settings and here we have header border bottom this is tick mark untick this and as you can see the bottom border is now gone and this is looking better now let's change the style of this one okay this menu it is really looking uh, bad here if you see the menu we have this white color and when we hover this the color changes animation also changes so first thing is that we want white color so first come back select the menu okay now come over here let's select the link color okay so first instead of black select white link color now as you can see the color has changed to white now when you uh, however this uh, the it becomes blue and there's no animation so let's add some animation hover animation okay so link effect they call it link effect here it is link effect and you have uh, underline from left brackets circular reveal for example let's select circular reveal okay it is loading now as you can see when i hover this uh, this is how it looks okay and uh, i just want some simple like underline from left would be fine and hover link effect color let me select white okay white let's see now as you can see this is how it is looking very nice now i also want to change the active link color which is blue i want to change that okay let me see where it is okay link color hover oh, here it is select this select white now as you can see even when i hover this it becomes white or you can change this to something like gray if you want now as you can see it becomes gray when i hover this okay so it is really simple to do this okay rest everything is fine i think everything is looking better click on publish now one more thing is left which is this the bottom footer section the copyright section we have to remove this ocean wp and put in our own name so come back okay again again come back now here you'll see footer bottom click on that and here we have copyright don't change all these things just change this one ocean wp theme by nick okay so what you can do is i also want to add some link now first let me put something and i'll show you how to add link first let me type made with love and instead of typing love let me do one thing let me grab this love symbol so that i don't have to type it okay type in love symbol and uh, here we have many so click on this link let's open this link i2symbol.com and let me select this one maybe this one is looking better select this let's copy it come back over here paste it okay we have our beautiful icon over here so made with love by Nayar Sheikh. Now I want to add this my name Nayar Sheikh under link. Now what does that mean? Whenever someone clicks on over here, as you can see on Nayar Sheikh, 
they should be redirected to my youtube page so let us see how to do that so again go to google and type in h r e f h t m l okay just like this uh, a h r e f h t m l and you will see the first link is w3 schools open this and here we have the link just copy this link come over here paste it over here and instead of this visit w3 school put in whatever you want uh, to link so i'm just putting it this okay by nayar shake as you can see here it says made with love by nayar shake now also want to change this link i don't want the user to go to w3 schools i want them to go to my youtube channel which is this so let me copy the youtube channel link and come over here change this link now as you can see when i hover this at the bottom you can see at the full, uh, bottom left you can see my channel link when i hover this okay now so this is also working so click on publish and let's exit it out so that we can see our final website okay so this is how our final website is looking i think we have completed everything nothing is missed okay so this is how your website is looking i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this was not a very lengthy and a very detailed tutorial because this was not regarding you know making a website in specific it was regarding elementor 2 i just wanted to show you how easy it is to create a website using elementor 2 using blogs that's why i was using blogs a lot of times uh, or else we could we could have just used sim simple elements and created it by ourselves but i just wanted to show you that using blogs you can create it more easily so that is what that was the purpose of this website i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have if you like this video if you like my content then make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos if you think this video was helpful then give a thumbs up if you have any doubt any suggestions any request for me leave them in the comment section below okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon